Welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. This video is part of a series that will help you understand the basics of the menu scene. So if you would like to keep up to date, please like and subscribe to the channel. In this particular video, we will be going over setting up a simple life bar system. There are three steps to follow when setting up most types of menu scenes. Step one is getting all the images set up as resources, animations, and objects. Step two is placing and organizing the images on the menu scene. And step three is making the logic to call and use your menu. We can use these three steps for setting up the life bar. Let's get started. Step one, getting the images ready. In my resource tab, I added two images, the life bar and the HUD background. Next, I went to the animations and created a gameplay HUD animation. Here, I separated the motions of the resources into health amounts. I also gave one health a special looping animation to help the player know they are low on life. I did this by simply changing some of the settings here on the right. And lastly, I made the HUD background motion. After the animations were set up, I went to the objects tab and created my objects. I first created my life bar object. We will get into the logic you see here during step three. I then created the HUD background object and gave it the proper image. Make sure on side view projects, all your actions have not affected by gravity checked. Okay, step one is complete. Moving along to step two, now we can place the images on the menu scene. The first thing I did to help me see my images as I placed them was change the background color of the menu scene. I clicked on menu scene settings and changed the color to a gray so I can see my black borders better. I was then able to place my HUD background and move it in position, and then my life bar into position. In the end, I wanted to move the whole thing a little more, so I was able to select all of it and move it. Note that when you are moving multiple objects like this, you cannot snap to grid. And that's it for step two. Now step three, adding the logic to our life bar. I ended up choosing to use the life bar object to have the logic in. It made sense because it also contained the gameplay HUD animations, so as values are changed and detected, the object can change animations accordingly. The default action I named Setup. This would be for anything you want to call the first time you run this object. After running once, it executes action to the processing action and remains there. The processing action does nothing itself for now. Its sole purpose is to see the player's HP and move accordingly. Note that in this processing action, the takes over motion option is selected, so as it transitions between the health actions, there is no image issues. The remaining 0 through 5 HP actions are only to change the image according to the player's HP. Let's take a look at one example. The link from processing to 4 HP is checking on a variable change. We are looking for the player object's HP value. If the HP equals 4, then processing goes to the 4 HP state. The exit link is checking for if the player's HP is not equal to 4. I did this simply by copy pasting the original link and then clicking the gray not equal to box to check for the opposite value. So what will take place is when the player has 4 health, processing sends it to 4 HP. Then when the player gains or loses a health, the logic leaves the 4 HP action, goes back to processing, which then determines the next HP value to go to. This makes the life system fairly automatic for now. The last thing to do in this step is test our logic. We don't have to add enemies or ways to get hit to test our logic. We can simply play test and use the F1 debug menu to see our progress. When we go to object data, we can click inside the player object. In the details, we can adjust switches and variables. Here is the HP value for the player. I'll minus one from the player's HP. The life bar responded accordingly. Now I'll add one to the HP. And it worked. Now I'll minus four. The one HP animation is playing and looks pretty good. And that's it. If you ever get stuck on setting up menus, just break it down into these three easy steps and hopefully that will help. I do know there is a lot more to even this simple life bar system, and as your game project grows, you will need to adapt accordingly, but this should be enough to get anyone started. 
There will be different HUD systems eventually in this series, so like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions, and with that, I'll see you at the next video.